Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to lower background music in Final Cut Pro. Now this is an important thing to keep in mind, especially if you want people to hear what you have to say. Now I'm gonna share with you how to adjust the audio levels of your music clip to not overwhelm your voiceover. And then we're gonna take a look at a cool editing technique called audio ducking. Let's go check that out. All right, so we're here in Final Cut Pro. We're gonna take a look at lowering that background audio. So let's go ahead and play this clip and just see what we got. All right, and then here later in the clip, it goes. All right, so especially at the end of that clip, we can't hear a thing. So you see, as we play this, you've got these audio meters. Now, if you click on these, there'll actually be an audio meter that'll play here to the side. So if you click on these, you'll actually see an audio meter pops up on the side. Now I like to uh, have plenty of room on the timeline, so I'll make that smaller, but you've got some option there, some room to play with. Now as we play this, we're gonna see it is peaking really bad. So depending on who you talk to, uh, the output of your video levels should be either at negative three or negative six. So as, we ha as, as we're looking at the levels of our vocals and as we're looking at the levels of our background music, so we're not outputting a, a video with some very loud audio. So a couple ways you can change the audio levels. First up, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to modify, adjust audio fades, and apply fades. So as you can see there, this little fade popped in on the front and back side of this. Now you can also just simply drag these little control points across and that will create a short fade or a long fade. And this is how we can adjust the volume directly on the timeline. So we can turn this up, which is terrible. That's not what we're wanting to do. We want to go down. So we can find a comfortable level. Uh, let's just guess right here that we want to go down to nine now a really great shortcut, uh, go ahead and have your clip selected and then we're gonna hit control plus or control minus. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna either lower the volume or raise the volume. Now there's another place where we can control the volume of our clip. We're gonna come up here to the inspector and since it's an audio clip, it's taken us straight to the audio inspector and we can see that our adjustment took us to negative 13 dB. Now there's a few different ways we can adjust it within the inspector. We can drag this volume level here up and down. We can also drag the slider across and we can click on the value, type in something like negative seven, hit return. Perhaps we know that this clip does best at negative seven from a previous project, or maybe we just need to match it with another clip and we wanna get it close to negative seven uh, for it to work best. Can you hear me now? Good. I want you to know that we release new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video. So we got this really exciting music track here and we want it to still be loud, punchy, <laughs> And, uh, and just something that fills, you know, m maybe it's a very exciting promotional uh, thing that we wanna be doing. And we only want the volume to lower just enough to hear the vocals and then go right back up again. So that process is called audio ducking. Basically it creates a, creates a dip here in the timeline. So let me show you what that looks like. Uh, the quickest way to do this is to press the R key and that's gonna give us this range tool and that allows us to select any part of this range on any kind of clip. So we've got that selected. We're gonna drag down the volume level right here on this. All right, let's use A to revert back to the select tool. And we're gonna zoom in on this. So what that's done is it's created multiple keyframes. It would have taken us a little while to add these keyframes in. It's possible to do that along this timeline, but this is much quicker. Now what we can do is we can actually adjust these keyframes to where uh, the volume level dips right as we begin talking. We can adjust these keyframes to uh, adjust right as someone begins talking and then right as they end and have a nice blend there. 
So on the last syllable, that last, so on that last little peak of, of the waveform, the, the volume level's beginning to come right back up. Right as the voiceover is saying the first syllable and the last syllable, you can kind of hide those transitions, that, that those fades. So let's go ahead and do this next one, right here to here, adjust that level down. While the waveforms are very helpful, you don't want to completely rely on them. You want to use your own ears. So let's play this back and see what we're hearing. So you can make some adjustments as you hear where you can bring those keyframes in and keep those levels to where the, the, the song is still very exciting. All right, and I'm just gonna do a, a quick edit over the rest of this. And all throughout this process, it's very important to keep an eye on these meters to the side. We can see that it is staying right below negative six. So if we wanted to, we could raise that a little bit. It just depends on your output, whether or not you wanna raise those levels or not. So we took a look at how to control the music track in order to make sure that the voiceover is able to be heard clearly. And then in taking a look at audio ducking, we saw how we can allow the voiceover to come through, but still allow the audio from the music track to still have that punch. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. May the soundtrack of your life be an epic one. But before you go, I have a free gift for you. A pack of Final Cut Pro plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients. It's worth $138, but it's yours free. Click below to get your free gift.